Great. So great to meet you. Thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations on this beautiful film. And Je, let's start with you because, um, you know, you would have thought that you would have had enough uh, animal hijinks on your first film with, uh, you know, Mia and the Winter Lion. But no, 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 you went back for more and you went for back for double the trouble. So what was the inspiration to bring us this beautiful film? Well, the, the, the inspiration is first the message of the movie. Because uh, with Prune, my wife, who is writing scripts, script, uh, we have six kids and uh, we try to do movies also for them and yeah. to try also to give them uh, the emotion and the, 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 the message of the uh, protecting the nature, protecting yeah. the wild animals and through fairy tale, because the wolf and the lion is a fairy tale also, and like yeah, the white lion, and we think that uh, um, to give that to, to the family audience, uh, to have those emotional stories, but with, under, uh, under the line, uh, the message of, uh, of the planet, and, and it's yeah. very important, so we like to do those movies. After, for me, it's very funny as a director, very, very interesting to work with humans and animals, because uh, it's my way to work, it's like you have a movie where you never know what will happen. Yeah. The next and so you are shooting something and you are like the audience waiting for something and it happens. And it's like you are very moved by shooting the movie or so. So I like that. Yeah, yeah like absolutely. That. Well, yeah, there's a lot of things. We'll talk about that. Uh, Molly, what, first of all, what a, a beautiful performance. My goodness, my heart went out to her, really. She had this kind of dilemma, right? <laughs> should I become a pianist or should I, you know, be with these animals? And then she chose that. And for you coming into this film, come on, you have to have been a little bit nervous, <laughs> I would think. Oh, I was. <laughs> I, I was nervous um, at the beginning because, of course, they said, you know, there's this uh, French director and he he wants to film a movie with wild animals, with lions and wolves. And are you comfortable with that? And I said, I don't know. I don't, am I comfortable with that, with being thrown to the wolves? I, what kind of question is that? So I said, no. Well, I don't know. And they said, no, no, he it, it's it's very safe. He knows what he's doing. And so I I went up and I met uh, I met with some of Andrew's wolves before signing on to the project. Yeah. And Andrew had said to me, look, uh, be honest with yourself about this. Don't sign on if you feel too scared, if you think you can't, if you can't trust the, the process and if you can't trust these animals and, and Jill. Yeah. And um, I, it was such a beautiful surprise to I'm find, to find myself trusting and loving these animals that um, are our predators, you know, in, in nature. Right. But what's interesting to me, and especially watching this and, and you, you start with these, you know, they're cubs, right? They're like little mm -hmm. babies. So they grow yeah. with the humans, they, they get used to being with the humans and I get it. Um, mm -hmm. But Jill, you know, what happens? COVID. And you're trying to, you know, you want, you don't want to use visual effects. You don't want to use fake lions and and you know um and wolves here you want the real you want them to grow so they did grow over that period of time obviously so if there was anything good for covid it was that but then how did you establish that they, they would still be safe with molly you know because she didn't spend that whole time during covid with them it's a bet <laughs> we never know but i mean uh, <laughs> he says well she can lose a leg. <laughs> off. Too bad. No, but it's, but it's beautiful, right? Like what ends up happening. No, no. I know that. Uh, I know the process, and I know that uh, uh, when they know uh, uh, somebody, uh, the animal create also the relationship, yeah. and they don't have anything in mind bad in mind. Right. It's, really, it's the bond, and I mean they they, they don't feel. Uh, or think, oh, today I'm going to kill Molly because they yeah. know her every day and it's a routine. Uh, and that's, it's a, it's a process. If Molly was, for example, uh, uh, beating the, the wolf every day, maybe one day he's going to, to attack her. No, understood, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's a process. Yeah. So Molly was giving only love, sometimes food. Yeah, well, <laughs> that helps, that helps, yeah. yeah. And, and play, and so... Yeah. 
they were very happy to every, every uh, i remember every every time uh, molly was coming on the on the set the the wolf uh, the, the lion is more shy but the wolf are coming uh, mozart and licking her and say hello Aww. and, and she was so cute and she was <laughs> so happy and it was the the everyday life yeah <laughs> yeah life. It's beautiful to watch it. And Molly, for you, not only do you get these great, you know, furry co-stars, but you work with one of our great Canadian actors, Graham Greene. I mean, come on, really? Like, what was it like to work with him and, and just, you know, sponge off of that man? He's a veteran. Yeah, he he taught me so much because he um, he's has so much experience Obviously, he has an incredibly impressive career, and I was, um, I felt very lucky to get to work with him, and mm -hmm. he, he liked to kind of take me under his wing, I think, sometimes on set. He liked to say, hey, Molly, this is, uh, you know, look this way because it's for the camera if you want the eye line to be here, and yeah. here's a little, here's a little trick for you, kid. Um, <laughs> Uh, it, not, right? <laughs> he had, yeah, he had this very fun, um, fun and light energy that was exciting Isn't... for me to be around. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was a nice relationship too on screen as well. In, uh, it's in transmission. Even for me, it, 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 it taught me a, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. And thank you for showing, you know, I always say that Canada is an underappreciated country because it is so beautiful. It really, really is. And oh my God, do you ever display the beauty of Canada in this film, you know, where you shot? Jill, just tell me quickly about choosing that location and just stunning, beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, it's in Quebec. Yeah. Uh, so it's French Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a region where there is lakes. It's a lake, uh, Sakakomi Lake. Yeah. And it's really an incredible place. And mm -hmm. uh, I was looking for a location all around Canada. And uh, I didn't find exactly what I, what I, I was sure of it. And the, the, the day before leaving, I, I met some friend of mine uh, in, in Montreal, they're French. And, and they migrate in, in Canada. And they told me, you have to go to Lac Sakakomi. It's so fantastic. So the day before taking my plane, I just go there and, and I arrive in, the, in this lake and I fall in love and I say, we have to shoot yeah. here. I'm going to have to check that out, that part of the country. It's beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, so Molly, beautiful. just to wrap it up, you know, I, I'm wondering at the end of this whole thing, um, you know, like I said, you, there's so many beautiful messages in this and, and you know, what people do when they, with circus animals, I was like, I mean, we could talk forever about these types of things. But how did you find yourself changing after this experience? What did you learn about yourself? I think I learned so much about myself. Um, it We've the whole process of this film has been years of my life and um, and developing, I, I didn't have pets growing up. Um, I didn't, and I, I've always respected animals. I've always liked them, but I've never, I've never created that sort of bond. And it was, it, it was so touching to me to discover how open I could be and how trusting I could be and how much I could feel for these um, for these creatures and they feel like my family. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I miss them. I think about them. And um, I think that was it, it just felt like my my heart opened in a way I didn't know it could. And it was yeah. very beautiful. Yeah. And it's beautiful to know, too, that these beautiful animals are living free and, and, and protected in Canada, and we, as we mm -hmm. find out. And uh, it, it's just, it, the whole thing is beautiful and I hope families really watch this film. So thank you so much for your time to the both of you. I appreciate it. And mm, thank you. Thank you and I'm doing another film in Canada, okay? We, we work <laughs> back. No problem. I'm coming. All right, you've got open <laughs> invitation, okay? Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye guys. Okay, bye-bye.